have not played this game before. We're gonna have everybody start with their backs against the wall. I'm gonna scatter these stinky socks everywhere. And then you guys hop one-legged hops to pick up the sock with one foot. The reason we play stinky feet is to help kids find a fun way to strengthen their feet. Lots of kids have problems with uh, collapsed arches, problems then with the ankles, problems up chain to the knees, problems up from there with the hips, all starting in that base. So one of the easiest ways to get them engaged is to do something fun where they can actually make that, the muscles of the foot, foot stronger. So we're both having them do one-legged hops and we're having them grab the socks with their feet. So we don't want them to scoop them up, we want them to actually grab them with the foot so they're using that muscle. Hop along on one leg and put the sock into a bucket. It could be done as a race, it could be done as a group where they're all picking up socks. And most of all, and most importantly, kids can do this at home. And it's a fun little activity and it can really help strengthen those feet, strengthen those ankles, and that will help protect them in the rigors of sport or whatever they're doing, even just playing that whole spectrum. The kids that are centered, sedentary and the kids that are highly athletic. So how we do that is we use functional movements and physical literacy and everything we can learn about how we can better strengthen them to protect them against the rigors of sport and also to guard against um, the problems of being a more sedentary, tech-involved generation. One of the things that we find is that kids learn to work hard here. A lot of studies out there that show that physically active kids do better in school. We've had uh, eight valedictorians come out of our gym. But that's the, the proof of what we're trying to accomplish here. You know, a, a, a kid who can step into and excel at any sport, anytime, because he has the fundamental skills and, um, and strength to do those things. You know, our partnership with the Brent X Method and everything that I'm doing with so much heart and integrity, it really just fills me up because we are at a point where there needs to be an intervention. And this is the best kind of intervention because it comes from people who know, who have lived it, and who know how to teach the youth, you know, how to have build a great foundation off of which they can springboard for life. Not that they have to be athletes forever, or pros or anything, but just to be able to move in their bodies and to feel good. That's why I think that it, the beauty behind what these guys offer. So this is really exciting.